guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a get ready with me type of video I haven't done these type of videos in so long so I figure why not film one and show you guys my current products that I'm wearing that I'm using and that I love and I just dropped my mascara on my table but yeah if you guys are interested in how to achieve this look please keep on watching and as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below and thank you so much for all your support for all the views that you guys have been giving me although it's a little I have faith in God that my channel will grow soon so without any further ado let's get on into the video so to begin with I always moisturize my face always 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 it's a mandatory thing I always moisturize my face I am currently using the fresh rose deep hydration face cream I'm going to be applying that literally all over my face and I'm like obsessed with this product because it's super super hydrating so I'm not going to be using a primer because I honestly don't find the use for it I prime my face with my moisturizer it literally doesn't budge I mean the more you add the better it is so yeah I'm just gonna be adding a little bit more right here underneath my neck area so my face looks super super healthy around my cheek area however on my forehead I did start to break out right here 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 and here on my chin I don't know it's been like a hassle with my chin because ever since we started using like the mask I just completely break out and I'm using the disposable ones and I throw them away but still nothing like helps so for foundation I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty foundation stick and I am using the shade toasted coconut I think this is the shade that matches me I went to Sephora just recently like a week ago and I told the lady like hey help me like match it because you obviously can't remove your um, mask I do remember walking in with uh, any makeup because I really wanted to get a uh, match she did match it which I thought was super super cool because she grabbed this like clear glass apply some of that foundation into the clear glass and then like put the clear glass next to my face without touching me and she's like what do you think and I'm like yeah I kind of I kind of do think it matches me but I don't know so we will see all right so I'm just going to be applying all over my face and like I said I am not using any primer other than my moisturizer moisturizer is key to me especially during this winter time because my skin tends to get super super dry and I hate that feeling I hate that sensation so yeah I'm just gonna be applying that do you guys like my new setup I'm super happy okay so to buff out my foundation I'm going in with my all-time favorite which is my foundation brush the Jaclyn Hill I rather use a foundation brush than a beauty blender I don't know that's just my thing I until I get like tired of using it then I'll stop but I really really love applying foundation with a brush it's just like different so I'm just gonna be buffing it in I'm just gonna be buffing it in and yeah I finished my classes so I am taking kind of like a little break right now I could finally breathe but then if you haven't if you haven't watched my last video you hope you guys watch out we like linking it up here below but I am currently enrolled for six classes for next semester I have no idea how I'm gonna do it but pull through and I have to do it cuz yeah I'm not gonna be in school another semester but I explained everything on my last video so after you're done watching this video go watch the other one so just so you guys will understand what I am talking about so I do still see some blemishes popping out but it is a buildable foundation so I'm just gonna go back to the places where I feel like I need a little bit more because I want more coverage especially around this area right here and this thing glides on beautifully another thing that I do want to mention is that yesterday I shaved my face for the third time and I'm honestly not mad about it because the foundation glides on so beautiful. I also want to mention that I did do my first ever gel manicure at home. 
which I'll be linking it down up here. I'll be linking it up here or down in the description box below so you guys can see how I got that done. So to highlight my face, I'm going in with the Manali, Manali, <laughs> Milani Concealer, uh, Conceal Plus Perfect uh, Longwear Concealer. And I'm going in with the color 110 Nude Ivory. So I'm just gonna be highlighting everywhere where I normally highlight, which is underneath my eyes. And I do want to mention something. Everything that I'm trying on right now is like my first time ever. The foundation, this is the third time I'm actually wearing it and it looks super, super natural, which I love, but I don't hate it. And this will be the first time that I'm going to be using. So we'll see how it is. I like to apply just right around here so I could like blend it up and then as well my forehead you know the usual places where you normally highlight you normally highlight now this is very very creamy I mean the consistency is kind of like thin but thick at the same time and it's like creamy so I'm just going in with the same brush and I'm just Buffing it in. Uh, I'm like literally not going. No, wait. I am going somewhere today. I'm going to my cousin's house because I promised her uh, I was going to go do her nails. So I'm literally taking my UV light and all of my gel nail, nail polish that I have, which are only six colors. No, wait. I think I only have three colors and then the other ones are... And, no. Four colors and then the other two are just... Um, glitter. So to contour my face, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Cameo Concealer in Satin Finish. Now this thing right here is amazing, okay? I'm not going to be using it to conceal my face. I'm only going to be using it to contour my face, which is amazing. It's very pigmented, it's very creamy, and it's super, super long wear. Now I'm not going to be applying it with the applicator into my cheekbones like that. No, I'm gonna be showing you guys a way that I apply it and it's like more precise. So I'm going in with a small ankle brush. It's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH04, which you can get any other brush in the market out there as long as it's just a fluffy ankle brush uh, to apply this product. But yeah, I'm just like tapping the product in like so. I'm not tapping a lot because this, like I said, is super, super pigmented. So I'm just going to be tapping it in. See? And as you guys can see, it's super pigmented. And I like to apply it on both sides of my face because I don't like to overdo it. And I'm just blending it. It looks like a natural contour, not super harsh because that's what I like. And if I feel like it's not enough, I go with the applicator and just tap it more into my brush and then just blend it out. And I'm just, whatever excess product I have, I'm blending it out into my forehead, my temples. Not my forehead, but my temple actually, my temples. So I'm going back again with the applicator and just dabbing it a tad bit. Like I said, this is super, super pigmented. You don't want to overdo it because you will mess up your face. As it did happen to me. I remember the first time I applied this concealer into my uh, face. I went straight with the applicator into my cheekbone. And oh my god, let me tell you. I was just like super, super tan and I was going to work. So I couldn't like take off my makeup because yeah, I don't look good without makeup in my opinion. But yes, um, I applied it and people were asking me like, oh my god, you look super tan, Sandra. And I'm like, yeah, I know, like, I, yeah. It was my mistake. So I was like, don't mention it again, but yeah. So I'm just applying a little bit more into my cheekbones. So whatever extra product that I have, I pinch the ankle brush and I just tap it in into the sides of my nose. Now, this is not the perfect uh, nose job or fake nose, nose job with makeup to do. I'm just like super lazy. I rarely ever do this and 
I don't try to make it perfect. Just for the sake of it today, I am going to try. So to set my under eyes, I am going in with my all-time favorite setting powder and it's my NYX finishing powder in the shade Banana. And I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes. I'm also going to be setting my forehead. Now to set my contour, since it's a cream contour, um, I'm going in with the Fenty Banjo Gal Bronzer and I'm just going to be tapping that product in and blending it out. And I'm taking breaks in between my Get Ready With Me video because I'm watching my favorite novella. And if you're a Latina, you know how to speak Spanish, and you're from the 90s, you might know this novela. I'm watching Betty La Fea in Telemundo, which, oh my god, it just brings us so much memories. And I remember watching it with my mom, my auntie, my cousins, and everyone in the sala or the living room. So yeah, I'm just like watching it, and I'm like, no, it's like going away. It's like I'm missing it, but I'm like missing it if I were to if it were to be like on TV. But since I have YouTube TV, I just uh, pause it and play it, pause it and play it, pause it and play it. So yeah, I am watching Betty La Fair right now, and it's getting good. <laughs> That's all I have to say. It is getting super, super good, intense, and yeah, super interesting. But anyways, back to my makeup. Back to my makeup. This is pretty much how my face looks like already. It kind of looks dewy. Kind of not. Kind of yes. Kind of not. Alright, so for my eyes, I'm going in with the Narcissist uh, Loaded Palette. And I'm going to be doing a look that I always, always do because I think it's super easy. I think it, it looks super, super nice. But before we begin, I have to prep my eyelids and I am going in with my NARS concealer just so the eyeshadows can stick a bit more and I'm just gonna be applying that all over and I'm going in with my finger and I'm just blending it out but just tapping it in and blending it out doing the same thing in my other eye I don't know, every time I do this, like I stick out my tongue and I do this and I don't even know why. And I'm not going to set that concealer because I'm going to be setting it with the eyeshadows. So the eyeshadows will be more vibrant and they will stay longer and it will look prettier. So I'm going in with a fluffy brush. I'm using Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes and then JH30. You don't have to use the same brush, you can use another fluffy brush. Just make sure it's fluffy so the first color that I'm going to be applying is this one right here which I think it's Dover or Real I have no idea but it's this one right here it's like this cool tone brown which looks super pretty but yeah I'm just gonna be applying it in the outer corner of my eyes and blending it not trying to go in the middle of my eye because trying to make I'll show you guys what I'll be doing actually and then going in here and then just tapping it in here and then blending it inwards but trying to stay away from the middle section of my eye Placing the product in my inner corner and just blending it towards the middle but staying away from this section right here. You see from that section. Now I'm doing the same thing here and blending it towards the middle. So 
making lunch show, wipe promotions, and just funding that product in. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, so I'm going in with this color right here, which is a Newberry Street. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful metallic um, silver. And I'm going in with my finger, just applying it in the middle. Because if I apply it with a brush, a flat shader brush, it does show. But I want it to be super, super pigmented. And I feel like when it melts, like when I touch the, the eyeshadow with my finger, it melts into my skin. And it looks beautiful. Now I'm going in with the same brush that I use and I'm just blending that in so it's nicely well blended. So next I'm going to be applying some liquid eyeliner into my lash line just to place my lashes on top. So I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I rarely use liquid eyeliner. Um, I like to use a cream eyeliner, but I don't know where I placed it, so I have to use this right here. So I'm just gonna be applying that into my lash line. Then in super close to my lash line. That is it, you guys. This is how it's looking like. I'm gonna do the same thing right here. So for mascara, I am using my Maybelline Nap Snap Scara Mascara. That's like a tongue twister. Oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna be applying some into my lash. It's waterproof. I hate it and I love it. It's like a love and hate type of relationship for this mascara. I love the fact that it doesn't like budge. It keeps my lashes in place and curl. And it, the residue doesn't like fall on my under eyes. I rarely apply any eyeshadows or any products into my waterline or my under eyes because this eye right here is super, super sensitive. So I'd rather not mess with it because it's going to throw a fit. So for lashes, I'm going in with my lash brand, which is Drita Lashes. And I am using in the style Queen Bee. Look down and... Boom! I love this look because it's like so natural, yet so sophisticated at the same time. And I'm just waiting for it to dry, which I truly don't wait. And I'll just grab a mirror, place it underneath, place it on top, and... So for my lips, since it's fall, I really love a dark lip. So I'm going in with a lip liner and I'm using NYX Earth Tone Lip Liner. It's very small because I use it a lot. So I'm going to be lining my lip. So now that I'm done lining my lips, I'm going in with a lip gloss. I'm going to be using the Fenty Cream uh, lip gloss. So this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do so. And as well, like the video and comment down below what you guys think, what you guys love. So until next time, bye, guys.